friends, Rise45 vlog, day six, vlog, <laughs> Rise45 vlog, vlog, boy, what am I thinking about, um, day six, and uh, all right, I feel like all I've been doing today is apologizing in videos, because I got to do it again, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call another audible on, how, on, on the uh, weekly video schedule, I know I'd said today I was going to do a full day of eating, kind of nutrition update, but I realized that I actually eat all day for the, well, not all day, but when I start, once I start, I usually start around two and then I eat till I go to bed. Well, quote unquote eat. Like my last meal is usually a protein shake, you know, some, um, some retire, some, some FNX retire protein and, uh, and some more collagen. And that's so of course it wouldn't be super practical for me to like take that and then try and edit a video because then I wouldn't get to bed till about midnight. So I will uh, finish shooting that footage today and then I will post that tomorrow. I, 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 I know people are like, totally joning for this. Like, I know you guys are like, what the hell, man? Um, so, uh, so it said what I'll do on Saturdays is I'm going to do the weekly update, kind of my, my sort of review for the week and we'll go from there. And, uh, which is actually good because I'm actually thinking about it a lot. And, you know, I think, I think a lot of things came together today. Um, so I'll go ahead and start with, um, of course my, my sort of just my daily update as per. And, um, <clears throat> I think, uh, what, what, what I learned today was um hmm well today was just the value of of um of being able to kind of modify programming you know uh there's definitely times where i sort of feel like i'm like i'm stuck too much in sumo you know sometimes i buy into all the hype you see on instagram about how you know weekend certifications suck and you're a horrible for person if you if you take weekend certifications but i'm actually really glad because you know jim's being closed ish here. And that was one of my big concerns with, with doing the rise 45 program was I was like, well, how much of this am I realistically going to do? I mean, am I going to be able to do? Cause, um, I didn't, I didn't totally want to do the body weight program just in its entirety. I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't mind body weight training, but it's definitely not my favorite thing to do unless it's, you know, jujitsu. But, um, <clears throat> you know, having only, I only have access to things like maces and clubs and rings and bands. I was like, well, I hope I can modify this program. And, and I'm found that it's actually really easily modifiable. And a lot of that too is, you know, not me. Uh, a lot of that is, you know, props to Adrian and, and the FNX team for, for creating a, a program that actually is very easily modifiable. Um, so I, I felt like I've actually gotten really good workouts. I felt like I've been able to scale them too. Um, you know, cause like I said, this week is pretty much just an adaptation week, adapting to the new diet, adapting to new training, getting back, just getting back into things, you know, getting back into like work, my work schedule. And a host of other things. So camera, quit freaking out. Focus, 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 Jack. And um, and and it's been it's actually been really good. Uh, you know, I, th I think most of the hardship actually came from just adapting the diet because, like I said, I'd gone from something very very SAD ish to a, a very clean diet, and I definitely felt that. But not so much now. You know, I feel I feel really good. Um, I'm ready to ready to kind of hit up some training. I know I'm gonna have to adjust again next week. Like I said, I think gyms. I I have no idea what's going on in Washington. Our our governor is just I mean, a lot of people have said it and he, he has no plan. I mean and, and use that because if you look at I mean he he announced this reopening plan again. This is like the second time he's done that. And it's funny because this time it's actually like we've we've actually gone further back, you know, and and, and his whole thing is like, well, you know, the number of cases and, and the new strain and and you know it, it it's 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 really awful. So I mean you know, so at first, at first it was like gyms were open for personal training, but then I've gotten emails from, you know, both of my lifting gyms that are like, oh no, we're actually going to be open too. And, you know, we'll back, we'll be, we'll be open for business, except, except you have to wear a mask all the time this time, which, which it kind of concerns me because some of these workouts are pretty intense and I don't like, I don't, I, you know, I don't enjoy working out with a mask on. I mean, it used to be uh, when gyms were open last time, we didn't have to wear a mask when we were working out which kind of makes sense. And the way I see it too, it's like, you know, if you can, if, especially if, if indoor restaurant, and I think, and I, I posted this on my, on my Instagram and I, I don't want to go down this rabbit hole cause it, it's just silly. But I mean, the way I see it, if like, if, you know, <laughs> if we can be open for, in, for indoor dining, I don't know what we, I don't know if we are, but as soon as like indoor dining is open again, it's like, I don't think people should have to wear masks indoors. It's, it's that simple. And you know, people are gonna say, well, but when you're eating, you only wear a mask, you, you know, you, you, you only take your mask off for a little bit. And it's like, yeah, but that you're st if, if this is all true, you're still vulnerable, right? So I don't, I don't, like I said, I, I don't buy this, this magic bullet, you know, magic, magic VRS theory that like, oh yeah, no, it, it knows that you're eating. So it's not, so, so you're, it's, it's, it's going to spare you when you're eating, you know? So, um, <laughs> no, I mean, I, I, like I said, I don't want to go down this cause people are going to get all butthurt, but like, that's seriously how some people sound. And, uh, so, but so anyway, 
So I don't know. I mean, I'll, I'll go ahead and try it out. I mean, I may just not go back to the gym until I'm doing more, uh, more strength stuff in come, what, come April, you know, and, and I'm not panting so hard. So, so we'll see. But, um, yeah, that was my big tangent of a daily update. So I guess, I guess, I guess my daily update is, yeah, I just, I, I learned that, yeah, I'm modifying, being, being able to modify programs is great. Programs that are modifiable are great. And having the knowledge to modify a program is super helpful. All right. Now let's jump into the, the weekly review. So I got to say, I feel, I mean, and I, and I sort of touched on this about 60 seconds ago, but yeah, I, overall, I feel really good. Um, like I said, it, it, I've, I, I had a lot of concerns, not, not so much about the volume of work, but like that, it was just, am I going to be able to figure out how to do these workouts? And, you know, that's been good. And then, uh, cause you know, I've, I've, I've actually, and I did do a little planning, like, you know, I think the Friday or the Thursday or Friday before, uh, before the challenge started. And I'm actually going to do this tomorrow too. You know, I actually went through the week, week, week of workouts, uh, you know, copied everything over into a spreadsheet and then started kind of just, just replacing movements and, and, and programming scheme, you know, set rep schemes with stuff that I, I thought, I thought would fit more to the tools I have available. And so, so that works. And, um, I'm going to do that again, but I'm also going to keep the as written, uh, in case I do just like, like I said, I am going to go to the gym and just see what happens. Uh, the other reason I want to go to the gym is, um, I, I like, this is gonna, you know, and I know this is a totally taboo thing to say, but I, I actually like steady state cardio on the treadmill. I don't like, I don't like, I don't like road work. Um, I just, it, it's just hard for me to get that same level of intensity, you know, I mean, but you know, jump on incline treadmill at a, at a good clip for an hour. And, and I noticed it too, because honestly, like I sleep way better when I get to do that stuff. So I'm, I'm so, so anyway, I have deviated once again from the path. So let's dive into the specifics of kind of the program, the whole, the whole challenge and see how, and see how I'm feeling. So, so all the, the different tiers or the different little tasks that we have to do. Um, so as far as nutrition and hydration, you know, I've alluded to this a little bit and discussed it, but again, I'm going to have to keep adjusting. Um, even though I'm hitting the targets as they're laid out in the program, I, you know, especially the hydration one, I, and I mentioned this just I, you know, it still just hasn't been working for me. I mean, today was a little better. I mean, I, I but I, I almost, I drank not counting protein shakes and like my, 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 pre, you know, my Perry workout, I probably drank two gallons of water today. I mean, legit. So, and, and I feel, eh, you know, two gallons of water with a lot of, you know, element and noon and, uh, yeah, I, I feel okay. I feel better than I did a couple of days ago, but uh, you know, we'll, we'll see. I mean, a lot of that, you know, we'll see how I feel tonight when I go to bed. Um, so again, that's going to be, that's still a process, especially next week because I'm going to try to hit more jujitsu sessions. Uh, like, you know, this week I, I only went to three and the way I had set out my goal for the challenge, I can miss six sessions, which means I've already missed two. So I can only miss four more. So I have to make sure I don't do that. Uh, let's see, nutrition, hydration, um, touched on training. I'm not going to touch on the supplementation part too much just because I have a week, uh, I think during my nutrition week, which is week four, I think week four, maybe week four and five, I'm going to talk about nutrition. Um, so we'll, we'll dive into all that there, but I mean, overall I did, I mean, the, 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 the supplementation part is not huge, which is awesome because it means, because as we all know, you know, supplements are nice to haves, but they're definitely not the thing, right? They're not the turnkey. Well, I mean, I guess that depends on your definition of supplement. I mean, some of those, uh, some of the so-called Mexican supplements maybe, maybe might be a little more potent, but, uh, that's, that's a whole other conversation, isn't it? Um, one that I'm not afraid to have with people if, if you're interested. So if that's, if you're into that stuff, um, you know, I, I, I I'm okay. That's, that's a whole other rabbit hole. I'm not going to go down and, um, uh, let's see. So let's see. Nutrition, supplementation, hydration, sleep, sleep is the one that I'm still trying to figure out too. Um, you know, for, I, I haven't actually been on a lot of sleep supplements recently, but it's, it's funny cause FNX actually has my favorite sleep supplement. It's called, uh, it's called, um, uh, I think it's just called relax and it's, it, it's melatonin based, but they they do some other stuff too. Uh, I'll, I'll actually have to go, go deep into it with, uh, if, if anyone's interested, I, I can, you know, we can do that. And it, it's the only melatonin types, you know, sleep, sleep types of one I've ever taken that I don't wake up feeling like super groggy on. And I mean, I actually felt, I, I would actually wake up from it and feel rested feel really good. 
and uh, ready to go. So I need to get back onto that just to see if that helps, see if I can like shore the sleep thing up. Um, let's see. The other big one is they, you know, they, there's a, there's a task to do a mindfulness practice. And what I chose for mine was, um, was to do breath work and standing durability. Um, I used to do, it used to be easy cause I used to do kind of the standing durability work, um, as my warm up. but this, this was a while ago. Um, recently, well, I say recently, but I'm thinking, you know, 18 months to two years, uh, I actually started using, uh, you, you guys, some of you guys know I'm a huge fan of Dr. John Russin and the PPSC and, uh, oh, PPS and PPSC master starts next week. I'm stoked about that. Uh, I digress. Um, but, um, so I use his, uh, his, his six phase dynamic warm, which I think is just an awesome warm up. I mean, it's, it's short, it's sweet. And it, I mean, it, it, for the stuff I do, I feel like it gets me really primed, like properly primed, you know, way better than just, uh, jump on, jump on the bike for three minutes and then do some stuff. It's, it actually like builds me up to work out really well. So, but given the requirements of the things I do, I definitely need some focus mobility work. So, um, so, so having, you know, getting back to doing the standing durability every day, whether in the morning or before I go to bed has been super helpful. And then I actually added, uh, some focus stretching work too, to try and get my, you know, get my butterfly, get my rubber guard, um, hopefully happening this year. And, uh, that's, that's been really good. Um, you know, I, I think, I think people who know me in the quote unquote fitness sense, know me as a mobility guy, whatever that means. And you know, the thing I tell people about mobility all the time is it's really simple for the most part. You just have to do it. And you know, and, and, I, and I like being able to like kind of prove that to myself every, every so often. So, you know, great example, before I went home for Christmas, um, I was actually working on a, on a pinched nerve pretty bad in the shoulder um, just from, you know, cause all I was doing was sitting on my computer and then doing jujitsu every now and then. So it's like, you know, I'd go from doing this on my computer to doing this at jujitsu. And, you know, I was just like super hunched forward. Right. So of course, you know, things start to shorten up and, um, but yeah, but just, you know, just, just a week of you know, a week and a half or so, actually I started, I kind of started doing that earlier of just doing kind of the, the, the mobility work, you know, my standing durability and I feel good again. And then being able to apply those principles, like I said, you know, I, I had a little tweak in my hamstring and calf yesterday and just being able to kind of move, move that stuff around and, you know, activate, deactivate, you know, and, and use some special tools like, like the power massager and stuff to prick up scar tissue. No, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Don't at me. I, I know that's not how it works. Jeez. Um, <laughs> but, uh, you know, just, just using all these tools and things I know to kind of like address my own issues, you know, is, is huge and it's, you know, super helpful. And like I said, it's, it's nice to just to like put myself in a state where, you know, you know, pr you know, pr 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 prove to myself that I haven't wasted five years and God knows how much money on continuing ed and that, that, you know, this stuff actually is useful and, and I know what to do with it. So I would say that's the week at a glance. That's probably, or at least that's, that's, that's all the things I can think of to talk about on the week. I mean, it was, it was pretty intense and pretty focused, but at the end of it, you know, things are really good. So going into next week, like I said, I still, I want to make sure that I'm shoring up my nutrition. I want to make sure that I'm showing up my hydration, figure out my sleep and just see, see how the, you know, see how the training goes. I mean, I, I do still want to stick to the whole unconventional rise 45 thing. So it may be a case of, you know, I go to the gym a couple times a week just to do a workout and get mainly just to get cardio in. Um, and then the rest of the week I do, I stick to, you know, the Mason, Mason club work and I'm thinking about ordering a kettlebell, but we'll see. Uh, I, I think I want to just stick to Mason's and clubs. I might just order some heavier clubs. We'll see. And, um, yeah, that's really about it. Um, I mean, that's kind of my week in a nutshell. Like I said, I, I'm overall, I'm happy if, uh, all you other rise 45ers, I I'm really enjoying the folks out there who are, who are, you know, posting progress daily, posting progress videos, posting stuff on the, on the forum, on the, or the Facebook group. It's, it's, it's really awesome to, to, to kind of follow everybody's story. I know that there's been a little adversity. There've been some, some wins, there've been some challenges, but it, it, it's really cool. So, um, yeah, if, if, uh, you know, if you're seeing this and, and I'm not following you, or if you're seeing this and, uh, you know, you want to, you want to get in touch and, you know, you want to reach out, please do. Uh, let's, let's keep supporting each other. Um, and that's what I got. Cheers.